Hey everyone, Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters. Uh, taking a viewer request, and that is to uh, win with filibuster tokens. So, uh, I finally did a Swiss draft where I saw an elocators, and this is my opening hand. So pretty, pretty not, or not too shabby for an opening hand. Um, I worked in a sphere of safety along with uh, this deck to try to slow them down even more. I mean, being a draft, you're not going to get all your perfect cards. So um, I have fortune here. I got a turn two chronic flooding, which will at least normally slow people down a little bit, uh, especially early on because uh, they don't want to just toss away cards. Um, so I'm I'm still feeling pretty good given he didn't put anything out on turn two. Uh, sometimes, I think one at least one time I had to play a uh, a Civic Saber and then like uh, that 2 1 haste creature that's two colors, so they were like swinging for four already on turn two, so it, it just didn't work out. But um, this time around, okay, so he's to turn three, he's got his Grim Roust about, and uh, surprisingly, here I'm, I'm really surprised that he paid the extra mana here in turn three to and self milled just to put on a Deviant Glee. Um, I get being hyper aggressive, but if that were me, I, I don't know, I wouldn't have done that. I would have just waited. So now I'm in turn four for me. I still don't, I can't, really can't do anything till five land, but you know, I'm looking at it all right. So he's swinging for four in turn five or turn four. So I'm not really sweating it. Um, the whole point of the filibuster tokens isn't to necessarily worry about your life, it's to really get that locators out there as quickly as possible and then start uh, filibustering and so I'm gonna take his four like a man and uh, you know typical Rakdos deck give me that hellhole flailer oh all right so anyway hellhole flailers out and um, so he's he's probably feeling pretty good be feeling pretty happy and then he sees the locators and uh the way this draft happened to go um i saw the locators it was like on pick three it made it all the way down to me and then so basically after that you know based on your guys's request i was like okay well now i have to try to go for this and so um I went like sphere safeties and um chronic floods basically the rest of the way and uh, then on, I think the third pack I saw, you know, Palisade Giant made it down to me. It wasn't even a turn one, or might have been turn one, but I think it was turn one. I, I don't know if I'd normally take that turn one, but uh, in this case, it's, it works great. So he's swinging here with Grim Rouse on Hellhole Flailer, and uh, here's a, in my opinion, a total misplay. He just forgets, I think, probably to regenerate his. Grim Roust about because he's probably so excited that he's taking me down to 10 um, because then he doesn't even cast anything so it's pretty clear that he made a mistake there and uh, that's also one of the things that helps me so now it's like okay well I've got a filibuster token and I'm going to drop sphere safety which is an enchantment in addition to my chronic flood so Azor uh, the locator is a 3-5 but I'm dropping ethereal armor on him so now it becomes a 6-8, I believe. So I'm sitting real pretty. Um, I've got three enchantments out there for the Sphere of Safety, which means he's got to pay three just to attack. And even if he does, um, the Ethereal Armor, which is pumped up on enchantments, all roided up on enchantments, uh, is big enough to block. So right now I don't think... He's probably too worried about getting filibustered. I mean, when you have a Rakdos deck, uh, you know, you can get around it. And I went five turns without putting anything out either. So now he's like, hey, 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 I'm going to attack with my Hellhole Flailers. Oh, wait, I have to tap three to do it. So I'm going to no gives these backsies. I'm going to, well, I guess I, he got gives these backsies, but he's going to, realize that well if I attack I can't put anything out this turn and if I attack I can't even sacrifice which is the beauty of the sphere of safety and I don't recommend I mean if you want to try to draft like this you have to like have it in mind 
So he's like, eh, stab wound, suck on that. However, the stab wound does not remove filibuster tokens because it does damage at the beginning of upkeep. So I take my two like a champ, I'm down to eight. Um, but now I've got some extra protection. Bring the Palisade Giant in here. And say, your turn. At this point, um, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, I've got that other enchantment sitting in my hand, which, you know, rest in peace. It doesn't really matter um, against a Rakdos deck, but it is awesome against. I crushed with it uh, while I was trying to win like this. I, I ended up playing a Golgari deck that I just won. F I won straight out twice in a row because they just couldn't. Their whole deck was built around Corpse Jack Menace and... and scavenging but they couldn't do it so now here's a great thing about sphere of safety so he gets his tenement crasher out but guess what the haste feature is completely nullified uh by sphere of safety and given the, the fact that i have three enchantments out and he has uh, a total of six mana um he can't do anything but pay to attack each turn at this point um and once i put out my rest in peace <laughs> now this turn I can put out just a random blocker just because at this point I'm on the finish line I've got uh, going on I think I've got three filibuster tokens now yep and the rest in peace just makes attacking even more difficult so now there's uh, a total of four enchantments which means he has to pay four just to attack And you know, exiling the graveyards there, it doesn't really matter, but it's it's fun. <laughs> and you know, his explosive impact would have been nice, but he milled it away. So now I say, okay, I'm feeling I'm feeling like uh, pretty pumped right now. I mean, like if he attacks with everything he's got this turn, he can kill my Palisade Giant. Um, which is really what he should do. But he makes yet another misplay here. Probably thinking, oh, take six, game over. And then I, and then my Palisade Giant says, yoink. And because he paid his four, he can't even attack with his Tenement Crasher to kill my Palisade Giant. So all you can say is, next turn, tur sir, you may have another filibuster token if you like it. And I say, I would like another filibuster token. How nice of you. I'm stab wounded down to four, but it doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. Another enchantment just for funsies. But uh, instead of, you know, at this point, I could just basically F6 all the way to the to home plate. And I'm actually worried at this point because I'm doing a screen capture and I'm like, man, if I trust Donnie's judgment, his tenement crasher, is he just going to quit? And so I actually thought about just putting out the ethereal armor or just sitting there because I was really... I really wanted to get this recording for you guys. So I was like, and I hope he doesn't quit. So now I've got four filibuster tokens. It's his turn. Um, I'm going to get stab wounded down to two. So this is just a great way, a great filibuster token win because I'm going to be down all the way. To, he's still got all 20 of his life. I've only got two. The only thing he can do is cast a random cobble brute. You know, I don't know. I'm not even sure if he's keeping track of the filibuster tokens, but um, maybe he's thinking, you know, with his drain pipe vermin, he must have had a pack rat. I'm thinking, I don't know for sure, but I will take my two, add my fifth, my fifth filibuster token, and turn ten. MTG quarter headquarters is victorious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll take your requests anytime.